Today, we're going to talk about something that you might love. It's one of my favorite things, shopping. Hi, I'm Erin Kinzel, the host of the Charleston Women Podcast. And today we're talking about Mount Pleasant Town Center. It's really the heart of the community. And this 500,000 square foot open air shopping destination is set on 51 acres with over 60 stores and restaurants and also the Palmetto Grand Movie Theater, the Hyatt Place Hotel, and a beautiful green space for all their events. Well, today we're gonna talk to the marketing mind behind it all. Today's guest is Kathy Harmon. This is Charleston Women Podcast, where you can meet like-minded, strong, independent, professional, and inspiring local women. This is Charleston Women Podcast. And now I would like to introduce you to today's guest, Kathy Herman, who is Marketing Director of Mount Pleasant Town Center. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us on the Charleston Women Podcast. Oh, it's so great to see you, Erin. I am so excited to be here. I mean, who doesn't love Mount Pleasant Town Center? One of my favorite places to go. I'm sure all the ladies listening, most of them would agree with that. That's, yeah, so many people tell me that when I first meet them and I say, they say, what do you do? I said, I work at Town Center. Oh, Town Center. That's my favorite place to go. (laughs) It's where we go. We don't tell our husbands that we're going, right? (laughs) Exactly. Um, I'm excited that we have a lot to talk about. You have so many events for scheduled for spring. You have some new things going on. So let's just start with what's new at Mount Pleasant Town Center. Sure. I'd love it. Um, Spring events are my favorite. Um, I think spring is almost everyone's favorite season in Charleston. It's just everything just comes alive. Um, So this year we actually had our um, fitness series with Athleta Mm -hmm. and our concert series uh, live under the Oaks. We extended it April and May this year. Um, So it was two months instead of just one month. So um, every Wednesday in in April and May, we had our um, Athleta fitness series under the Oaks and we had yoga, kickboxing, strength training, um, Zumba, which is always my personal favorite. I love right. it. And, uh, and then Thursday nights, we have our free um, outdoor concert live under the Oaks. And again, all the music is local and it changes up every week. Right. Um, we always talk. Country. We talk frequently about live under the Oaks um, with our local radio station, our partners over there. It's like one of the best events. So they say, cause it's oh. free. And haven't you noticed like since the pandemic that people just really are looking forward to get outside and enjoy some live music and some family time. And the thing I love for it, the setting, the setting yeah, is what beautiful. makes it. I mean, the uh, the Oaks, which is our park across from Barnes and Noble mm-hmm. um, with that beautiful oak tree in the background um, and the grassy area. It's gotten so it's gotten so busy, though, so popular now that we had to uh, put the stanchions for the concert wider and wider out into the parking lot. So it's not just in the it's not even just the grass anymore. Now it's on both sides of the parking lot. And um, I mean, we've had over 300 people at uh, at these shows. It's, it's amazing because you are so good at your job marketing these events <laughs> that it's growing. So that's a good problem to have, Kathy. Um, you also it mentioned sure before we started this, you have a new program that young mothers might be really excited about coming to Mount Pleasant Town Center. What is that? Can you tell us? Sure. Um, it's in a, it's a club called Play Days. Okay. Uh, it's it was developed after speaking with some local moms. And um, it's a club that is free that's put, that we put together. We're going to hold an event for moms and their kids every two, uh, I'm sorry, the first Tuesday of every month mm-hmm. uh, between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. So, yes, it, it does go a little bit younger, mm-hmm. um, the kids that are not in school. But then, of course, that will change over the summer because we will continue to do it over the summer. Okay. And again, be outdoors at the park. And it's a different theme every month. It's just a way to get out of the house, give yourself a reason to go, just do something different. Um, You don't have to stay the whole two hours. You could stay the whole two hours. Mm -hmm. And, um, but we're looking forward to welcoming um, all of the the moms out there um, with their, with their families for playing. Right. And I know they're going to be thrilled to go, you know, to get out of the house, to have their kids socialize, learn something, whatever the play activity is. And also just to meet other moms. I mean, as you know, there's what, still 40, 50 people moving here daily. So I'm sure it's going to be a good opportunity for people to connect. Oh, absolutely. Um, And then again, we're, I'm working with Charleston moms. Um, oh, they're wonderful, blog, yeah. and they're amazing. They're amazing. What a great group! And um, and low country parent, 
Mm-hmm. And we're putting together this schedule of events. Um, so just check out, make sure you check out our website sure. or okay. um, our social medias and or sign up for our emails because our emails are really the, the best way to stay in touch with right. everything that's I, I want to talk a little center. business with you because a lot yeah. of this podcast, we talk to you know powerful businesswoman like yourself. And I'm just curious. So Mount Pleasant Town Center, it's 500,000 square feet. You've got 60 stores, restaurants, the theater, the hotel. I mean, from a marketing standpoint, I just get overwhelmed thinking about it. That, that's, that's a lot. You know, when it, you it moved is. here, what, in 2016, mm-hmm. I imagine you didn't have that many stores or shops. Like, it's grown, is my point. So oh, how sure. have you had to adapt and change your marketing as, you, as things have moved along? Well, um, you know, when I moved here from New York, I had worked for the same company for almost 20 years, mm-hmm. and they were a de- uh, shopping center developer. Mm-hmm. And so when I moved here, I had moved, I had worked in shopping centers that were 2.3 million square feet. Oh, so well, this was were, nothing then. Never mind. <laughs> that, were, that were in the top 10 largest in the country. Wow. And so, but it did, it was a challenge. And there's, a, I'll tell you why it was a challenge. First of all, because I, I didn't know anybody at all when sure. I moved here, not a soul. Mm-hmm. And this, my, I think my success is always based on, on um, partnerships, relationships, and I was starting from scratch and I wasn't, I wasn't a child, you know? So mm-hmm. I had, um, and so the size itself wasn't the challenge to me. It was more of fitting in. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know how everyone here was going to feel about this northerner coming down and, and taking over. But mm-hmm. I honestly believe that um, just the way I am and the way I work and the kind of person I am that um, I, made friends right away. And um, I, I believe the majority of the store, uh, store managers like me. And, um, and I've met people, of course, like you, Erin, and other people in the, in the business and um, just been able to be very successful. And I use all of that here at Town Center. Right. It's got to be fun, you know, a fun career to have with so many moving pieces and so many different stores and just variety daily. You know, you're not just marketing like one widget, you're marketing so much. So I imagine that's part of the joy of the job. It is. And it keeps it, it keeps it interesting and new. And so, as I mentioned, you know, did I really need to create a new kids club? Probably not. I don't think anyone would have missed it, but <laughs> I felt like I was missing that certain niche um, for the Mount. Cause I again know so many people now things that they might be looking for. So it adds more to my plate. I have more work to do, um, <laughs> but that is my job, right? So let's get these, let's, you know, have these special events. We're, we're also trying to add another event in June, mm-hmm. um, which is going to be new. Uh, and we are having our first ever holiday concert in December. Oh, wow. So that'll be after our tree lighting. We're going to okay. do like a day of celebration with a concert. That's, so that's fun. Me. Well, you guys yeah. have when you do the what do you call it? Your light up nights. What your uh, so lights fun. up? Yeah, yeah lights yeah. up. So will that accompany that, or is it going to be separate? Totally separate. A lot okay. of people. Um, lights up is amazing, as mm. as you can imagine. So fun, uh, a yeah. lot of work. A lot of work into that, and it's I'm over sure. in the snap of a finger. Um, but um, a lot of people, for some reason, either it's you know it's the weekend before Thanksgiving. People are uh-huh. so busy. Right. So not, I don't think a lot of people can attend it that would like to. So mm-hmm. now we're going to add on this um, completely different kind of holiday concert mm-hmm. um, that is held. It's going to be held at December 10th. So it's kind of right in the middle of between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So right. it's really just a, you know, a thank you for the, uh, for being, you know, so That's good wonderful. to be here. I can't wait for that. So December 10th, the holiday concert. Be part of the conversation surrounding Mount Pleasant. Sponsor the Mount Pleasant Podcast. Podcast marketing is the new, powerful way to brand your business and reach your customers. For more information, visit carolinapodcasts.com or call 843-345-7012. You're listening to the Charleston Women Podcast. I have noticed a lot of the events that you do are community inspired or you find a way to give back. And I've been there to like a breast cancer fundraiser. Is that part of your thought process when you're selecting these events and what to organize sometimes? It, I mean, it's, it's me. It's literally me. I, um, I, I, I will do it if I have to, but I try not to ever host an event that does not have some kind of charitable component to it. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I mean, I, my job, as we know, Erin, is to get people to the shopping center, right? Mm-hmm. And so I get them here and then the stores have to get them in their, in mm-hmm. their stores. My job is to get them here. I really honestly feel that town center is the heart of Mount Pleasant. And um, because of that power that we have, um, I can use it to do good for these organizations. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a soft, I have the biggest softest spot for Charleston Animal Society. Mm-hmm. Um, they know that we do nine events a year now for them to raise oh, wow. money. And um, I just, I adore them. And then, as you mentioned, our pink promenade, I know that you have attended mm-hmm. um, that event in the past. And uh, our good friend, Andrea Serrano, mm-hmm. uh, she styles it. And it's just one that at the end of it, we all look at each other and go, I mean, my heart is, right. my heart's melting. And so we bring awareness to breast cancer. We raise funds for the Roper St. Francis Foundation. And these women who are models who are breast cancer, either survivors or current patients, watching them strut their stuff, just, again, it's the most amazing thing mm-hmm. to see. And that's why I do these events. It really is. It's so empowering and touching to see them. You said it perfectly, strut their stuff. Yeah. You know, and raising no, money amazing. for a great cause. I know you said, yeah. you know, a lot of us go for events, but, you know, a lot of people just pop into Town Center for lunch or bring mm-hmm. the kids on a weekend. Uh, for someone who hasn't been there in a while, you know, what's new and exciting? What, what are some maybe newer places that we haven't experienced or explored yet? Well, the one that um, I am unbelievably proud of um, is Malika Pakistani Canteen, mm-hmm. the Pakistani Street Food. Um, I've known Raheel and Miriam for a long time in a different manner. Um, and so I was so excited when they wanted to open up their um, Malika here. And I mean, it's the talk of the town. It, it is. So I mean, good. they're getting national. They're getting national coverage about this little restaurant. Um, and I'm just amazed. The food is fantastic. If you've not been there, you've got to try it. And they're just great people, you know, and right across the street from them is another one that's getting all these awards, Savvy Cucina. Yeah. Amazing Italian food, local couple. Mm -hmm. They're here in Mount Pleasant and they're getting winning all these awards for their wines and their Mm -hmm. food and everything at Little Old Town Center. So, you know, we're not we are not while we do have, of course, the uh, chain restaurants. Sure. Uh, P.F. Chang's, Burton's, Mm -hmm. the best of the chains, as far as I'm concerned, Mm -hmm. uh, with Grimaldi's and all that. Um, but you know, we're getting known as, as a place to, to dine. And, um, and I know that that's a really big focus, um, as we continue to move on, everyone asks me all the time, what's going in the Atlanta bread space, what's going in the Atlanta bread space. Right. And I can tell you, um, that I can't tell you who's going into the Atlanta bread space, but, um, there's a reason it was, it stayed vacant. We could have had, we could have put anybody in there. We mm-hmm. could have put, you know, I, I don't want to say your name and everyone think I think it's bad, but it could have just been anyone because we had a lot of people interested in it mm-hmm. and our ownership group. Um, and us, we would talk and we'd say, listen, you know, that's, that space is not going to come available again for a long time. So mm-hmm. I think we need to wait and put the right people in there. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that's exactly what we're doing. So there, um, people keep asking me, hopefully I'll be able to tell you soon what's going in. You know, uh, you know I mean, I was going to say, don't you just want to announce it right here? <laughs> I, until the ink is dried, I, I don't know. announce anything. Well, I that's exciting. That's exciting. On I top of it, you guys kind of have a new look. You have a new logo and a new website. Okay. So when we stop by your website, we might notice the difference. Oh, absolutely. I hope so. Um, yeah, it's Mount, I'm going to the- say it. it's mountpleasanttownscenter.com. Town has an E, T-O-W-N-E, center, C-E-N-T-R-E. Just Google correct. it. It'll show up, but just so people know. <laughs> I didn't, um, I, I wish I could correct that spelling, but that's the way that's our spelling from now <laughs> right. on. Um, I do love the new logo. I think that, um, I mean, we've been open now. We opened in um, 1999. Mm-hmm. So we're tw- uh, 23 years old. And um, I was time for, it was time for a refresh. And mm-hmm. um, I love the new logo. The new website was, I mean, it's amazing. And what a process. Right. <laughs> of creating a new website and it was worth every, every waking moment of trying to get that together. Um, I just love the, I just think that flower that they added to the logo is just so um, it's just refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's very um, yeah, it's beautiful. So it's going to take us a little time Mm -hmm. to update everything. Um, You never realize how many places your logo is until you change it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. (laughs) 
You find little surprises still- daily, like, oh, forgot it yes. was there. I should have asked yes. you in the beginning, you know, you're the marketing director, but how large is your team? What's your support staff like? It's just, it's just you. Me. Yeah. That's wow. Just me. You, yeah. I'm just looking at all your photos, but <laughs> all the events that you have so low. Yes. This wow. is um, the management team consists of um, the general manager. Right. And then we have an assistant general manager and myself. Okay. That's very so, impressive. Uh, what would you yeah, say? I, um, well, I was going to say from a marketing standpoint, I think just life in general, we always have to evolve and move forward. But there have been a lot of changes recently. And I think I'm probably referencing most recently the pandemic and the way in, mm-hmm. the way in which people market. How do you find yourself in all the years that you've done retail, the, the changes that you've had to make? I'm sure it's been pretty dramas- dr- dramatic or drastic from when you first started to what techniques you're using today. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think back on my good old days. I was, um, it, I got hired right out of college mm-hmm. for my first job in a shopping center in, in Midtown Manhattan. And uh, first of all, I had no idea what actually went on behind the scenes of a shopping center. I just used to shop. And so I found that absolutely fascinating. Mm-hmm. And um, the things that went on behind the scenes of, of these events that you would go in and see um, really took my breath away. And it kind of, I, I knew I was never going to leave that, um, leave that, this type of job. And, and I, and I didn't, I stayed, stayed for them for a really long time. Um, but when I started, there was, there's no cell phones. There's no, I, we didn't even have a computer in the office. Wow. We had one of the first fax machines. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, the way that was the way of getting the word out was solely radio and print. And that was it. And, um, and of course now, if you are not as up to date on your social media and texting and emails and whatever, whatever, you know, that's the only way to get the word out. Um, I'm still a very firm believer in radio and print though, for this, Mm -hmm. for Charleston. I know that um, Mm -hmm. when I first moved here and I asked around people that I want the the type, the the people I want to come to my events, I asked them, do you still listen to radio? Do you still watch Mm -hmm. TV? Do you, Mm -hmm. and they, you know, they do all that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I love Low Country Live. You know that. I love being on Low <laughs> yeah. Country Live because I know the people you. who. Are, yeah, I love the people who are watching it because I know that those are the people. It's your right that demographic, are my customers. for sure. Right. I want to finish up with this. I want to hear the rest of your story, but I want to finish with you know what would you say to a young person entering the marketing world today? But I want to hear more of your story first of how you've progressed from not knowing anything to the <laughs> single-handed master that you are right now. <laughs> well, I yeah, I mean, I just um, I learned a lot. I really did. I mean, I went from being one of my favorite memories is when a, I was to work at a place that was A and S Plaza. Um, it's now Manhattan Mall, and. Um, it was their fifth anniversary and I had to get, I had to wear the marquee costume and um, <laughs> the, the head, the head, it was a marquee and the head piece was 60 <laughs> pounds. And I had to walk around for about 14 hours with this costume on with a roller skating Elvis handing out mugs to everybody on the subway. <laughs> And I was, you know, I was. You didn't have a college course said, in that before you did that. No, well, <laughs> that's ex- you know what the college courses do anything your boss tells you. Right, that's what it was Amen. back then. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was, I was the lower on the totem pole, and I got all the dirty work, and um, and I got to tell you, but those are those are the funnest times mm-hmm. I think I ever had. In 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 the, in the we actually married a couple on the, in the shopping center once um, on Valentine's Day. What a nightmare that was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think Bridezilla is a bad try, try and having a contest, having the couple win and then everything go wrong 24 hours before I can only thousands imagine. of people are coming to the wedding. Wow. Those what would fun, you say? What would you say to someone, you know, the young Kathy, the, the young gal or gentleman getting out of college right now and wants to enter a career in marketing? What words of advice would you have? Wow. Well, I think that um, most importantly, whatever they want to, whatever they're going to market, whether it's a shopping center, whether it's a uh, pharmaceutical, whether it's a computer, whether it's a phone, whether it's clothing, Mm -hmm. you have to really love whatever it is you're selling. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't love what you're selling, then marketing it is not going to make you happy. That's my personal opinion. Um, 
I really honestly love what I do. And I think people can see that. Um, I have a lot of friends that um, were our marketers as well. And they're kind of stuck in this. They, they're, they're stuck in a spot in their lives right now that were like, you know, I kind of really don't like books anymore, whatever, wherever they are, whatever mm-hmm. they're doing. I'm having such a hard time trying to sell these books because I just don't want, I don't like books. Mm-hmm. And so if you can find something some kind of industry or product that you really like Mm -hmm. um, right from the beginning. um, I think it's a great way to start your marketing career. Very wise pieces of advice right there. I thought of one more question and then I'll let you go. Do you have any insider tips on when is the best day to go to town center? (laughs) Well, it depends. You want to be busy or not busy. I want to get a prime parking spot and good deals. (laughs) We actually have, um, yeah, we actually have, we have the traffic, uh, tracking now. And so oh, I, I can know actually, that. where's that? I can actually tell you, wow. um, it goes back and forth monthly of Monday and Tuesday. Okay. Being the slowest days sense. of the shopping Yeah. Center. After the weekend. Um, but also even during the week, anytime up until noon. Okay. You'll be able to find a great spot. We are a late afternoon hub of activity. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, especially with the restaurants now and things, mm-hmm. people, I don't start anything earlier than 12 because no one's going to come. Right. Except for my kids club, of course. Except for those that's moms. Targeted. That's for sure. Yeah. Right. But, you know, a regular event, I'm not doing it before noon because that's when people start coming out. Um, that makes sense. So, yeah, Monday. Well, Monday. Cool. Do we find that traffic tracker on Mount Pleasant Town Center dot com or on social media? I imagine like where do we find all of your information? Where's the best landing place for that? Uh, Mount, well, Mount Pleasant Town Center dot com for sure. Um, we also, of course, have our Facebook page, Mount Pleasant Town Center, and our Instagram is at Shop MPTC. That's right. All right. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I have forgotten to ask today? Yeah, I think you know, I I, I love this town. Um, I love what I do. I hope everyone um, enjoys the events that we work so hard on. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the direction the shopping center is going. It is um, certainly grown, as you mentioned, Erin, from mm-hmm. when I started six years ago. Right. And uh, the ownership group, um, Continental Realty Corporation out mm-hmm. of Baltimore, they purchased the property in February of 2020. Mm-hmm. And um, they have just taken it or have plans to take it to the whole next right. level as well. It's amazing. So, I'm going to show my age, but I remember when it was newly opened and I was living in West Ashley. And it was like such a big deal to make the trip, right? Like to cross oh, yeah. all the bridges. We are going to Mount Pleasant Town Center today. Yeah. <laughs> we were so excited. Well, I, I look back at the map and, and stories about when they first opened, and this was so far out. They said no one's going to come, right? Because we're so far on 17. There's no way no one, no one's going to go all the way out there to go shopping. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, now we're we're probably now not you're even super close. Middle of yeah. Mount Pleasant. You haven't moved, but you're smack dab yeah. in the middle, or you're pretty close to those bridges. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Kathy, thank but, you so uh, much for your time today. Again, Mount Pleasant Town Center, that website is mountpleasanttowncenter.com. Uh, you've been listening to the marketing director, Kathy Herman, on this podcast. And you've been listening. We thank you for your time today to the Charleston Women Podcast. Thanks for spending time with Charleston Women Podcast. Please like us and follow us on whatever platform you're using to access Charleston Women Podcast.